how's everyone doing today today i'll show you how to update your galaxy s5 to android 8.1 oreo now this is very simple of course and uh, just ensure that you have your files downloaded um g apps um i recommend using the stock you notice that i have the pico g apps this is the smallest g apps package which only has the Google Play Store but um, I downloaded it because I'm not keeping GApps I'm just going to show you guys how to install it and also the Lineage OS also copy that to your phone after you have downloaded it and uh, Twerp version 3.2 this is required uh, any older version of Twerp won't install won't allow you to install uh, Lineage OS 15.1 which is Android 8.0 Oreo. So just ensure that you have Tube version 3.2 and up, and I'll provide all the links in the description. So let's get started. So now that you have all the files copied to your phone, now we focusing on installing Tube. So now before we install Tube, we have to ensure that we unlock our bootloader because we're installing a custom recovery. So go to settings, go all the way down to about device and go to software info and tap on build number until you see develop options turn on now go back and go to developer options turn developer options on and turn on oem unlock which allows us to unlock the bootloader now that the bootloader is unlocked and you have your files copied power off okay All right, now with the device powered off, open Odin. So I have Odin down here. Click on AP and locate where you have the tube file downloaded. So I have it in this folder. All right. Okay, now just boot into download mode. This is power, volume down, and home button. So power, volume down, and home button power volume down and home button so now that you are in this screen here just click volume up and uh, to verify that the bootloader is unlocked just ensure that you see frp lock off if it is on then that means that the bootloader is locked so just ensure that you see off here to ensure that the bootloader is unlocked so now connect your phone and you should see this hair is blue this to sh this shows that the phone is connected so now click start so that it can now install twerp and uh, let's allow the phone to reboot so now that you see pass you can disconnect your usb cable it's not required anymore so let's just allow the phone to boot up Alright, so now let's power off and now boot into recovery. So now that's very simple to boot into recovery. Press volume up, power and home buttons together. So let's do that. Alright, so you can see this up there. Recovery is not the Android enforcement reforce. And um, this means that you have a custom recovery. So you can already see there that we have so now go head over to wipe advanced wipe and Dalvik cache data system now internal storage is optional it's up to you but if you have the wrong file on your internal storage then do not wipe it if you have it on your micro SD and for one reason or the other you want to wipe your internal storage then you can go ahead but it's optional so swipe to wipe And go back and uh, go to install and locate the folder in my case I have this folder here so select this and uh, add more zips and select your open G apps package now swipe to confirm flash okay so you can see here that it's saying patching system image unconditionally so it's now patching the system image and let's just wait for this to complete ok 
Okay, now it's done and it's now going to install the Google Apps. Just wait for this to complete. Installing Google TTS dialog framework called Sync Swipe Leaps. Google Package Installer. Alright, now the installation is complete, so let's reboot our system. Uh, do not install to a pop. Alright now it's booting up, let's just wait for this process to complete. I won't record the entire boot process so I will stop here and I will get back with you guys. Ok so after about 5 minutes the boot up process is complete. So let's get right into it and set up so you can see that your language of course starts. okay i am not going to set up any network or any google account i'm just going to skip everything just show you guys everything that's cool about this android 8.1 so it's up to you if you guys like the navigation keys then you can enable that not sure if it works but i know lineage os has a lot of bugs and uh but this one doesn't have many bugs it has about three bugs which i'll be providing the links to in the description they are not bugs that you'd notice but uh it's just a few bugs i'll just link them down in the description so you can see we've, we're greeted by this very nice beautiful user interface i must say um I like the Android 8.0 user interface, it's very good, um, so it's system, about phone, and let's see the easter egg, so wow, pretty cool, and um, I know there's an octopus I can move around, yes, cool, okay. Now, of course, let me test the camera. Let me see if the camera works. Okay, front camera works. Now let's try our selfie camera. Okay, our selfie camera works. Hello, guys. So, yes, our selfie camera works. So, um, I think that's all I have to test right now. I don't think there's anything more to test. Let's see Wi-Fi. Yes, we have Wi-Fi. Okay. Um, uh, Google Play Store. Let's hope that it doesn't force close. No, it doesn't. So, yes, everything works. Everything works. Okay. So, just let me know what you think about this new Android 8.1. Well, Android 8.1 is now getting a bit old because the android pistachio ice cream would be released this year so i'm also looking forward to that so you guys just let me know what you think and um, of course if you need any help like i mean any help just let me know drop your questions in the description sorry <laughs> drop your questions in the comments and also I, I provided my contact information so you can check on my channel for my contact information if you need further help and further assistance so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in another video and remember if you like the video hit that subscribe button above my head below wherever it is just hit that subscribe button 
to show your support like the video share the video and uh, thank you very much for watching my video